This week we're talking to you about what the importance of having a media channel if you are looking to scale your business. Welcome to the Lexus Click Growth Journey Show, the weekly show for business leaders who are scaling their business. We've got a camera on the table this week, Chris. Why have we got a camera on the table? So we are talking to you about media channels and the importance of it if you are looking to scale your business. One of the alternatives to not having a media channel is to employ another thousand experts in your business. As you can imagine, it's a pretty expensive way of doing it. So creating a media channel is one of the best ways of scaling the expertise. Get your experts, stick them in front of a camera, get them to type, write a blog post, get them to start a podcast, and all of that stuff is gonna get your expertise out into the world and tell a lot more people. Yeah, that expertise suddenly becomes available 365 days a year, 24 seven, to potentially tens of thousands of people. That just wouldn't be possible through individual experts alone. So really start to think of it in that way. Now we look at websites day in, day out, and lots of these are really good businesses, but very, very few of them have a standout, well-produced media channel, which indicates to us that there's some real challenges around creating a media channel. What are those challenges we come across, Chris? I think the biggest one is it's pretty difficult, and I think you really need to understand the vision as to why you're doing it and you really need to stick at it. It's gonna take you a long time to do. You need to allocate at least 12 to 18 months if you're working with a partner and probably a lot longer if you're working on your own and really understand what the vision is and make sure everyone understands why you're doing it. Yeah, so it's really, really important that you understand like the length of time that it's gonna take. The other challenge that we come across is that it just takes time to create really good quality content. And a lot of people don't factor in that time. They get really excited at the beginning, but then they give up early because there's other things in their business that they consider to be more important. So we've talked about some of these challenges, Chris. What are good ways to overcome the challenges? So you really need to understand what the vision is and to why you're creating the media channel in the first place. If you think about the great media channels, they're not creating the adverts that go in between the content, they're creating the actual content. So a lot of businesses will start off creating content about their products and nobody wants to watch the adverts, they wanna watch the actual content. So you really need to understand what it is you're creating, why you're creating it, and make sure you create the right type of content that really draws people into your expertise. Yeah, and how do people overcome the fact that it's gonna take time to hit this tipping point when their media channel really starts to work for them. So I think you, part of your vision is, is a time frame that's attached to that. If you think it's gonna happen overnight or in a couple of months, you're probably gonna be very disappointed. I think you need to factor in at least 12 to 18 months if you're working with some of the partners who have done it before or at least done part of it before. I think a lot longer if you're trying to do it by yourself and you haven't done this kind of thing before. Yeah, so our recommendation is work with a partner who's done this before. It's gonna get you there a lot faster. There's a lot of ancillary things that people don't factor in. They think, oh, making a video, that's pretty straightforward. You've gotta then produce a video, you've gotta then promote the video. So working with a partner will get you there faster and it will reduce your opportunity cost. So the third thing you might wanna try and overcome is the amount of time it takes to actually do it. It's quite a time, consuming process to create content. So what we recommend is that you create systems and processes around creating the content. So you know, every Monday morning, you're gonna come in like us at 10 o'clock and you're gonna make a video for that week's vlog. So every day you're gonna come in and do a, a weekly, a daily video about the thing that you're gonna do every day. So if you have a, a time set aside for it, then a system and process around each of these bits of content, you're much more likely to make it consistent and much more likely to make it happen each and every week without ever stopping. Yeah, and another way to overcome these challenges is also to look at how you can create content right the way through the customer's journey with your business. Great example of this is FAQ content. So you can record a video and create some written content for a frequently asked question. Now the chances are that's gonna save customer support time because you're getting asked that question quite a few times and you can send a video link to a customer to explain that. But also when a potential customer is looking to solve that problem, it's highly likely they'll search on Google or YouTube, they'll come across your video when they haven't even heard about your business before, suddenly they've heard about your business and they've started a relationship with you. So it's really valuable as well at the beginning stages of this funnel. Now we talk about all these things, don't we, Chris, in our scalability score. So do you wanna do a little promo for that? <laughs> yes, so Media Channel is one of the things that we will ask you about if you go onto our scalability score calculator, check the link on the screen. It's lexusclick.com forward slash scalability score. And we're gonna 
ask you a bunch of different questions and it will help you identify the things that might be holding your business back from being able to scale. So until next week, 